And I don't think he's a particularly good rapper. I think he's a better singer than he is a rapper. And the yeah. sad part is, like, his rap parts, they could intermingle it with her singing, and I would mm-hmm. love it, and I would eat it up. But he has, like, whole chunks yeah. of just, just straight rapping in the song. Yeah. I mean, it's still, like, the fun rapping, right? He's not yeah. GD rapping or T.O.P. rapping, right? Mm-hmm. But, like... But when the, his parts come up, it sounds like a totally different song. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't really suit the the feeling of the song. Like he wrote a rap and like kind of changed the melody or changed like yeah. the feel of the song just so he can fit a rap in there. And I don't think that's correct. I don't think that a, a huge pet peeve of mine in like you know girl groups or boy groups or any like kind of K-pop in general is where they forcefully add a rap section when it's not needed. Sure. And this song kind of has that problem, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Or he could have cut it down by a lot or intermake, you know, like when we complain about rapping in 200% or whatever, like it was kind of like that, right? He would rap a little bit and she would say something and there'd be breaks in between, like little jokes, freeze frames or whatever. But then he, this one, he like actually He goes straight. He he has entire verses of like, you know, rap parts. I don't understand that. But like, but then it gets back around to the chorus. And I'm like, damn, this is kind of great. The, the girl has her part. I'm like, damn, this girl is yeah. so great. There's a dance break that I'm not a huge fan of. But like the dance break doesn't even last that long. So I'm like, that's okay. okay. Get through that. Um, and it comes like at the end of the chorus. And I'm like, the chorus was great. Um, when the guy's part comes back again. I'm yeah. just like, so I, this, I mean, this song is very, very hit or miss for me. Like, mm. I, I do think it is a progression of their style mm-hmm. and they're getting a little bit more creative. Like I, I would agree that their first album was a little bit, not, not basic, mm-hmm. but it's very minimalistic mm-hmm. and like they haven't really, you know, come to full fruition of their talents and you know what mm-hmm. they're capable of. And this one, like they're making strides towards doing like more interesting things, but there's some things that I'm still just not on board with. Yeah, like we were both saying that, like we know that the guy. And I'm he's, sure the girl helps, right? He's but the guy is the, the song. main composer, right? Yeah. As far as I remember, yeah. Um, like and we both wise. think, yeah, we both think he really needs to step back a little bit and yeah. just kind of acknowledge that his sister is definitely has the better voice. Yeah. Well, that's not even true. Like when he sings in the song it's at that good. one tiny part, like it's they good. match really well. Yeah. Yeah, but like. Maybe he just is around. Maybe he's just hanging around with GD too much. And yeah. he's just like, y'all won't be a rapper. He needs to cut that shit out. Or at least limit the rapping, yeah. man. Like, come on. Like, you know, big ups to him for, like, composing his songs yeah. and, like, making visible, audible progress. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But, I mean, you don't have to do it all, man. You don't have to rap and compose. You know, y- yeah. you can you can have a limited role in singing the song. Mm. But, I mean, you're doing a great job, I think, of composing the song. Because these songs are, you know, a big compliment we gave to ACMU is that mm-hmm. they didn't f- really fall under the influence of other YG artists. They kind of came out with their yeah. own sound. It's like they did their own thing and then yeah. YG just put their name yeah. on it. Yeah, and like mm-hmm. these two songs, it really does feel like it's their sound. Mm-hmm. But less rapping, brother. Although it's a little crazy now because when... Akmu first came out, mm. they were definitely like on their own in that section. But nowadays, YG has Tableau and his whole yeah. underground label to like true. do their their Ghibli. So, yeah. and of course, they have Lehigh, of course, yeah, also. Yeah. So, um, you know, YG is you know, they're they're not going to debut a girl group anytime soon. But <laughs> oh. you know, they they got their other their other hands and other yeah. things. Um, the second song, the one I got confused with, is Akdong Musicians Rebuy.
Did you say ribeye? I said ribeye. Oh, okay. But from now on, I only hear ribeye. Because ribeye. you from Texas. I'm from Texas. Speaking of which, we ate barbecue. We went all, we went all the way to Seoul. Yeah. I heard great things about the barbecue place. Yeah. You heard it from friends fr- uh, friends that also grew up in the South. Yeah. Texas or just uh, in the Louisiana. South? Louisiana. Yeah. Louisiana, very famous mm-hmm. for like ribs and stuff. And so we went all the way to Seoul to eat this barbecue. Yeah. Pretty disappointed. It was... Like, I I mean, I, I think I was more disappointed than you. I think so, yeah. Um, I mean, I am from Texas. Because I, I didn't hype myself up as much as, as you did, I think. I mean, I try not to, but yeah. when I hear this is really good barbecue and that, like, you were telling me, like, it's even... Because I was like, ah, oh, Korean people, right? But you are like, no, dude, these are freaking... My, my friends from the States. Yeah, and Americans yeah, and, from the and South. Louisiana. Yeah. And I'm just like, like, it... I liken it to, like, it tasted like barbecue you get from, like, a Luby's. And I don't yeah. know if you know what a uh, Luby's is, but it's, like, one of those, like... Kind of senior citizen um, oh, buffet, I know what you're talking about. buffet um, buffet places. Yeah, I think another one would be like Golden Corral. Golden, I know Golden Corral. Um, I think I think that's what Luby's is actually. Uh, but it's like a buffet, right? Where it's got a lot mm-hmm. of random things or a lot of random places, and yeah. a lot of the food is like, eh. I really thought the barbecue was like that. I, I would say it's a, like maybe one step up from that, but it definitely didn't meet my expectations of like, oh man, it's just like. Like amazing. Like I can go to I can go to like Rudy's. I don't know if you have Rudy's. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, not not in California. Not in California. But but you've heard it. Yeah. Like I can go to Rudy's and and get something like sixteen times better than than what. Actually, I was telling like like my friend Wayne, which I mentioned earlier. Weird that weird that they came back. Uh, he he. We always have like a meat centric barbecue like once every couple months. Yeah. Um, and he makes like he's not an amazing cook. Yeah. Um, but like he makes ribs and like. There, they were probably. He, if he came here and sold those ribs, I think Korean people would like, you know, jizz themselves. I same with my brother. My brother, I think my brother's a pretty good cook, mm. and he he's kind of known for like making ribs. Mm. His ribs are like amazing. Yeah. And so when I kind of ate it, I was like, my brother needs to quit his job, come to Korea, <laughs> open up a barbecue place, marry a nice Korean gal, pop out some kids, and then I'll baby babysit them, uncle sit them. Yeah. But, I mean, do it. Like I'm telling you guys, like if you know how to make any good, you can go to Seoul right now. And yeah. like that, but that place was like you know, waitlist. Like people were showing oh, up. Yeah. Like a lot of Korean people seem to enjoy we, it because they don't know like anything. Half an hour, maybe forty minutes. Right? Yeah. But like you, you can't have ribs if the rib if the meat doesn't fall off the ribs bones, like you fucked up. Yeah, and, it's not uh, tender enough. Up. Yeah, it's not tender. Enough. Um, like you, you don't you don't need a knife to cut through ribs. You just tear them with your hands. Yeah, you should be. Anyways, Lee, uh, not Lehigh. Uh, Agmu's ribeye, ribeye. Yeah. Uh, now this. I, I song, forgot why we were talking yeah, about barbecue. Yeah, I was like, ribeye, oh, ribeye. See? Ribeye. That's why. Um, ribeye. So this one is the Lehigh the sounding one. song. Yeah. It's like, and the whole video is shot in like 1920s, 1930s yeah. kind of style. Um, it's very jazzy, as you said. Yeah. Um, it kind of has this like. Really like jazzy piano sound, like doom, mm-hmm. doom, right? Yeah, I think, and I think this one is a really good background song, mm-hmm. as you as you said earlier. Mm-hmm. I I I don't know if I agree. I think mm-hmm. out of the two songs, I think this one is less Akamu style. I feel yeah. this is a little bit more kind of. I want to I want to go as far as say generic because not a lot of. People artists are this. are you know can you know replicate this mm-hmm. sound, but I feel like this doesn't really suit their strengths. Mm. Uh, this type of genre is not. Right. It, 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 it's a good try, but it's not something. So you're that saying like, I'm, if I'm I wanted to listen to this, I would just listen to a Lehigh song. Yeah, um, I, I think Lehigh. I mean, Suyan has, has a great voice, but Lee Lehigh, I think she she, a, she sings this more... style better. Mm-hmm. She has a little bit more of a grit to her voice, a little bit more of like a she a, sings some a shit. chest a chesty sound to her voice. While chesty, yeah, like it, it's more, it's like deeper, more full sound. Mm-hmm. While yeah. Suhyun kind of has a more, I would consider like a she's a, a bird. Mm-hmm. She's singing like a bird, right? Mm-hmm. And it's very kind of high. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's hard to describe unless you've heard both their voices and you know exactly what I'm talking about. I kind of get what you're talking yeah. about. Um, I mean, I, I say it's a good background song just because, like, I it's like I use last album, where like mm. I fully understand 
the evolution of her sound. Mm -hmm. I fully understand that, like, this is a decent... No, I used last album, but maybe the album before that. Oh, uh, the, the, whatever, whatever, re, whatever album it's Red Shoes. Whatever uh, Red, Red Shoes is on. What, what album was that called? I even bought it too. Um, yeah, we even went to that concert because the last album was a Cheshire Cat one. Oh, I forgot that song existed. Yeah, you're uh, right. But you're I, right. I use right. I use album with Red Shoes on it and you and know, other th- and other things. songs. Yeah, um, you're right. I forgot that. Album. Yeah, um, like I. I fully understand. I think I, I I get that it's like it's different and it's this and it's this. a progression of, yeah. of sound. Right? Yeah, but I just it's just not not your style. Not my style. It's, it's yeah. like it's not catchy. It's not your thing. A thing. Well, like you it, you can take that sound and make it catchy. I yeah. fully believe that. Yeah. Um. Like you I, you can take any genre of anything and and, and make, make it. it catchy or at least catchy not in the general sense, but make it catchy to me. Yeah. Right. Well, like, I you, mean, you, totally you, you can make quote unquote poppy. Sure. Right. Sure. Yeah. Um, and I just thought, you know, this one was like, it's a cool sound, right? Yeah. If I heard it on the background, like in a jazz bar, or like, yeah. like I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be like, Ooh, what? yeah. Um, but like, you know, I would one hundred percent rather hear how people move, mm. you know, instead. I think we both agree how people move is more yeah. of. And more even of their then, style song. and even then, I would still rather listen, listen to two hundred percent or give love, right? Yeah. Or even the, the the CF song, the commercial song. Mm, the right? Canada song. Yeah, I would rather listen to that one probably. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, just kind of to summarize, it is it, it is a good experiment like to kind of try yeah. new things, but um, not really for us, I don't think. Oh, we didn't talk about the music video, though. Oh, yeah. Um, I actually thought the music video was, was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, not as... I think it's cooler because it kind of has a twist at the end, mm. even though, like, once you know the twist and you go back, it doesn't really make that much sense. Um, but it, le- it at least kept me engaged. Because at first yeah. I was like, this kind of, she was, like, acting. It was like an, a, an act, like a play yeah. and stuff. I was like, this is kind of boring. Like, yeah. it just seemed like she saw the hot girl and, wanted and she her. wanted to be the hot girl. And I was yeah. like, that's kind of generic. But it turns into this weird detective murder yeah. mystery. You know, he, the dude shows up, like, in Detective Conan cosplay. Like. Yeah. And, like, you know, it, it was kind of, it, it wasn't a great <laughs> detective story, right? No. But it's three minutes in a background. Right, right, yeah. whatever. So, like, I thought the music video, like. It's still pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Like, I, I think I would have not even finished it if. Um, yeah, I, it, it kept me engaged. Yeah, definitely kept me engaged to the song and then the music video in general. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, 